Well, hello there. In today's special bonus tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to play a holiday song called Jingle Bells. This song has a nice familiar melody in the treble clef hand, and then our left hand just has some simple accompaniment playing the C chords. Let's have a closer look. For this piece, my hands are going to be in C position. So my right hand finger one is gonna be on middle C. My left hand finger five is going to be on base C, which is the C below middle C. Let's start by taking a look at the right hand. The first two measures are going to just be a repeated E. So it'll sound like this. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Now you try. Now measure three, let's name the notes before we play it. E, G, C, D. Now you try. Very nice. Let's try measures three and four. E, G, C, D, E. Did you keep those notes nice and smooth and connected because of the slur underneath them? All right, I'd like you to pause the video and just try the right hand in measures one through four two times. After you've done that, press play. Let's add our left hand in measures one through four. Our left hand's going to play a C major triad. The C major triad, if you haven't learned it in your lesson videos yet, is the notes C, E, and G. Can you play a C major triad for me? All right, so we're just going to play that C major triad at the same time as we come in with the E. So it'll sound like this. Now, if that's tricky for you, thinking about all those notes, I would encourage you to actually try it on the lid of your piano, just drumming it. Jingle bells, jingle bells. After you feel comfortable, then you can try it on the keys. So go ahead and pause the video. Try those first two measures hands together. All right, now measures three and four, you're going to play jingle all the way. So my left hand comes in on way when my right hand plays the E. One, two, three, four. Can you try measure four for me? Good, let's try three and four together now. Jingle all the way. Now you try. All right, let's move on. You're going to move all in steps. So you're gonna start with F, and then step to E, then step to D. So I'd like you to go ahead and try the right hand in measures five, six, and seven. After you've done so, press play. All right, now we're gonna add the left hand to that part. All you have to do is in measure six, play a G. Go ahead and play that G for me. Now listen to how it's going to sound when I put the hands together. Pause the video and try those three measures hands together. All right, in measure eight, I'm gonna play D and then go up a fourth to G and then rest. So it'll sound like this. You try. Let's try it with the left hand now. I'm gonna play the G and the D at the same time. Rest. Now you try. All right, I'd like you to pause the video and try up through measure eight two times. After you feel comfortable with it, go ahead and press play. Okay, let's move on to the last part of the piece. Here's the good news. This first part is exactly the same as what you just learned. G That's 
exactly the same as the first four measures of the piece. So let's go ahead and learn the last four measures of the piece. You're going to play finger four on the F, changes a little bit. Let's just go through and I'd like you to name the notes as I play these last four measures slowly. So it's going to sound, so I'll play it and you say the note names with me. Ready, go. F, 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 E, 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 G, G, F, D, C. Let's name those notes together one more time. Ready, go. F, 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 E, 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 J, J, F, D, C. Now I'd like you to pause the video and try playing those notes two times on your own. After you've done that, press play. All right, we just have a little bit of the piece left to learn. My left hand's gonna play G. One, two, three, four. And then during that rest, that measure of rest, you're going to take the hand and move it down to the next lowest C, where it's going to play a loud C chord to end the piece. That ottava, that eight VA, means to move down one octave. So you'll just move down to the next lowest C, and play a C chord nice and loud. Go ahead and try the left hand part. Pause the video, take a moment to do so. All right, I'm gonna play those last four measures for you hands together so you can watch how I'm doing it. Add the left hand. Now I'm gonna start moving while the right hand plays. So did you notice how my right hand was playing this while my left hand was moving an octave lower? And then I play one, two, three, rest. Let's just try the last measure together. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, rest. Let's do it again. Ready, go. One, two, three, rest. All right, you've learned all the parts of this song now. I'm gonna play the whole thing for you so you can hear how it's going to sound after you've had a chance to practice. You can compare your playing to mine in here and listen to see if, you hear, if you're playing the correct rhythm and the correct notes. Here's Jingle Bells. learning Jingle Bells alongside me. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon.